the ultimate Ethiopia strategy. Literally flawless. One hour in Hoi or a hundred thousand hours in Hoi. Anyone can do this strategy. I have mastered this and now you will too. Regular, historical, off we go. And it goes without saying, you want to play Iron Man? Please play Iron Man. There's loads of achievements for Ethiopia and they're all super fun. It's pretty sad that Hearts of Iron 4 isn't doing anything World Cup themed, but you know who is? PUBG Mobile, baby! That's right. In this free-to-play Battle Royale mobile game with over 50 million active daily players with multiple cool skins from IP collaborations such as Spider-Man, No Way Home, Lamborghini, and the boys is a whole new limited time theme around the 2022 World Cup featuring none other than the GOAT. Oh, Lionel Messi. Okay, if you're not in the know, Lionel Messi is one of the world's most international renowned footballers who's won seven Ballon d'Or awards and six European Golden Shoes. And PUBG Mobile is that you play as him. Also, with the ability to accomplish weekly activities that unlock Messi's content for free, such as these three Messi skins, Messi weapons, Messi bag, bag ornaments, and a Messi plane, and more. Or maybe even pick up the Golden Shoes that give you the sprint boost effect, as well as allowing you to make a football like dribble movement available for Rangel, Livic and Noosa. You can use other cool abilities in the Global Chicken Cup, a new update coming soon with the new football theme pack, including Carnival Field and the football car. How could you resist? If you love football, download PUBG Mobile through my link in the description below and live out your dreams of being messy. First of all, select the entirety of your army by shift left clicking on unassigned divisions at the top. Sign them to an army by right clicking and then select everything that isn't your militia division. These ones. So like these ones, double click to select them all and hit shift left click to double select these ones too. This one is like the emperor's personal division. Unfortunately, you can't modify that. And then I want you to delete these divisions. You're probably thinking Dave's gone mad. How is he going to defend against the Italians now? Trust me, this makes sense. And here I will explain. This is your starting division. These bios, the Saf Safari. Oof, let's go on Safari, boys. These do some decent damage. However, they have no terrain modifiers and they use a decent amount of equipment. Now, if you were to use the Cheat, these guys, they do roughly around about the same kind of damage. However, they have also got defense bonuses in terrain types. Also, these divisions, they train and exercise incredibly quickly. They're technically referred to as irregular infantry. You're losing some of those stats, but then you gain other bonuses in other areas. And overall, the main reason we're doing this is these guys are super cheap. Let's just train eight of them. High priority. We said we only want one series of them and then we'll deploy them immediately. These guys train at lightning speed. Next up, you want to import a little bit of steel from France. You've only got one civilian factory, so import it and get a little bit of steel and you can assign the military factories if you get any more. You probably won't. When it comes down to research though, it doesn't matter. You're so behind on research, that 40% penalty, that it's going to take you a very long time to catch up. How? For a little bit of security, you can start working towards radio. Once you've got radio, you know you've already won. So guys, we have a total of about 500 days to win combining these two electronic engineering techs. There's your victory point. That's how you know you've won in brackets. National focuses. We're going to do something weird. Now, you probably think you'd start here. These are all the bonuses you can get initially at the start of the war to have a really good defense against the Italians. Get this. This strategy is so strong, you're not even going to need them. So we're going to hop all, all the way to the left and start your military academy. This strategy is going to be all about building as many infantry and irregular infantry bonuses as possible. So we really don't want this, but we want this. Oh yeah. And we also want this. Oh yeah. There's more to come. Let's go. First thing you're going to do now is select your army and assign this guy who is an infantry leader. The truth is this guy is pretty average. However, this infantry leader defense bonus is just too good to say no to. So it's what we're going to go for. Now you're going to draw the ultimate front line. It's going to start from the very south here go northwards cut across this area have a very left turn and then go here that's right i left a gap here on the left it'll make sense trust me you're gonna go to like four speed on pause immediately see them move and then hit control and b on the keyboard and if you look really closely these guys will go from moving to railroading which gives them a very small speed boost if they were on railroads they would get a big speed boost but unfortunately we ain't got railroads it is what it is next thing's gonna happen in the north the italians are gonna attack us and you immediately want to select this guy's getting attacked then right click to retreat. You have to right click a few times. I don't know why you have to click more than once, but you do. And you gain a speed bonus of 15% for withdrawing. 
He runs. He runs. And just keep moving. Probably get attacked again in a second. Will he get attacked? Will he? Oh, will he get away? He gets away. What a lad. It's in the south as well. This guy's trying to retreat. So you need to help him out. And then that is perfect. Everyone has managed to get away. Keep an eye on everyone though. Because if someone does get intercepted and start getting attacked, you need to tell them to physically withdraw. Why don't they automatically do it? I don't know. All right. They're all moving away now. Everyone in position. Near enough. We could deploy our irregulars. Boom. Shift left click on underside divisions. Put them on the fallback line. Same again on pause. Control B to railroad, giving them a minor speed boost. Off they go. And now you can right click on the delete order command and confirm you want to delete your orders. You do not want a fallback line here. They will wiggle around the front line, breaking their entrenchment, causing problems, and you have to keep moving them back and forth. It's just easier if you have full control and you are going to micro. What? Micromanagement in Hoi 4? I thought we were going to battle plan, Dave. Not this game. All right. A little bit of time has passed now. We can go to Ethiopia, go balance of power, and we can get an extra militia division by recalling Salcho Kazooie. That's exactly what we're going to do. And in two days, he will appear and he's here. And you can just pop him on the front line and assign him to this general. Now, a bit of a strange thing happens. For some reason, they never want to push over this front line initially. Now, they will somehow do it late game sometimes. But for the most part, they never want to push over this front line. I think the AI is hard coded to think if we push forward here, we're only going to be pushing forward by one tower. And there's a chance we could get encircled behind this river line. So we'll not do it. So they will just sit here. And the beauty of this, the beauty is that means you don't have to hold these two provinces or even this one meaning you've got a narrower front line and when your front line is narrower you can concentrate more of your firepower in a very small area welcome to the part that most people don't find as fun welcome to micro arena so you need to see where you're being attacked hover over the battle and see how long it's going to be until you break if it gets around about 20 days it says you're losing more than likely that area will break unless you reinforce so we're just going to wait initially and the weak spots the two main weak spots is this southern point here, which is hills, and surprisingly, this northern part here with the mountains. So we're gonna select you guys, move you over, but keep you stationary. Same here, select three divisions, press F several times. If you press S several times when you've got multiple divisions selected, it will eventually just give you one division. Then we'll hold shift and right click and tell them to manually move to this location. Off they go. Same again, I'm worried about this southern point. Select these divisions, S, 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 right click, off you go. The front lines have solidified. And here we go. So what will happen is you guys will retreat when they're losing. And more likely they will, because if you go into your air map mode, you can see they're bombing this region. So this is going to be a vulnerable spot. Hence the reason why you're going to be reinforced into this direction. Straight away, as you break, time to turn around. Back on the front line, son. Off you go. They've stopped attacking here. That's great. We get a breather. We get to regun out some of our organization. And then we'll go from here. As you can see clearly now, you can see where the weak spots are. And if we can reinforce and get on the front line, we'll do a lot better. Now, there is a very small chance... It's a very small one. If you get attacked really aggressively on one specific point, because your reinforce rate is so low, you might not be able to reinforce in time to get more divisions in reserve to come forward. And unfortunately, you will collapse and fall back. The chance is incredibly low. But if that just happened, my advice is jump out of this game, remake it again, and just hope you get lucky. All right, here we go. The first class of the Academy of the Emperor. And you can go for attack, which has all the bonuses. Defense, which is a small bonus. Or you can go for the school of the unprepared. I don't know why you would do that. These bonuses are permanent. My advice is go for the top one. It's the biggest bonus. Next up, say we're going to keep the militia. And now look very closely at the very bottom. Can you see that? Balance of power minus 10% towards the Massafint side. So we'll go for that. And if you go on the balance of power, you can see the more that we give power to the aristocracy and less power away from the emperor, we gain more bonuses for our infantry. 5%, 10%, 15%, 20% bonus for defense and attack. This will make our army so so unbelievably strong. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go into balance of power. When you've got 25 political power, you want to give more privileges to the Mesafint, which will move you more left, which will give you more bonuses to your infantry. You only really need to do this once, but be aware if you do this multiple times, you will lose a lot of stability. So not recommended to repeat this. This is pretty rare, these events. However, when you get one, take advantage of it. Move more power towards the Mesafint, and it'll also give yourself a free division as well. Why not? 
So now we've given more power to the Mesofint. It's moved us further left. And now we can progress down getting these bonuses over 70 days. It's a no-brainer. They're easy bonuses. You don't have to do anything for them. And they're free. So amazing, right? And as you can see now, because we've moved further left, the Mesofint has more power. And as a result of that, we now have 10% defense and 10% attack. Can you see where this is going? You're stacking so many militia bonuses. Your troops don't even need more firepower or guns. They will basically fight incredibly strong without them. One other thing to note, too, is in my four test runs I did for this, that's right, I did four test runs. That's how much I'm dedicated to making good videos, guys. I didn't leave any divisions here, but for some reason, in my actual proper run, they keep moving divisions down the left side. So just leave one division here. You have to push over a big river into mountains. They're not going to be able to break this. You're just down one division here. It's not the end of the world. Once you've got 35 command power, and we've got way more than that, you can promote your existing guy to field marshal. Make him a field marshal. Also give him organization first. Give him an extra bonus to reinforce rate, meaning we're less likely to have reinforce issues and have the whole divisions collapse. It's a big problem. You don't want that small chance to happen, so don't let it happen. And also hire the desert guy. You are going to be fighting deserts, which will be here, and you'll be pushing into mountains, and we'll get the mountaineer bonus very shortly. Perfect. Our reputation grows. So in the second Italian-Ethiopian war, our escalation has reached level three, gaining as a big political power bonus. And with this, you can go for this guy, which gives more power to the Mesafint, which will increase your consumer goods, losing our trade with the French. However, we gain more defensive bonuses. There you go, that's gone. And to top that off, as you can see, we're almost maxed out towards the Mesafint. Isn't this amazing? I just can kind of lean back here and this is kind of automated now. It just does itself. Just keep an eye on the battles though. Be aware, like as I said to you, this guy looked like he was about to break. In this case, just hold back. If the battles are looking red. Just keep a close eye on them and just check how they're doing. Sometimes it's not always the end of the world. If they turn red, the AI might still have 50 days before they win that battle, which at the end of the day, that's not a lose. And then we've reached a point now where the Italians aren't even attacking. Yep. Are you attacking? No. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. They woke up. They woke up. And then they stop. Chance of victory is very low. 301 days till victory. Oof. Big oof. At this point, there's no point in expanding in this left side. So move all the way to the right. Hey, are you ready for some more bonuses for your infantry? Yeah, that's right. We're not done yet. Rally around the emperor. See, look here. This battle doesn't look like it's going well. So we'll click into the battle and have a little look. You're not going to win until 44 days. So the battle basically ended. You only really need to worry if it's less than 20 days and you are losing. And you can kind of tell because the organization gets really low. Here's a little cheeky trick. Split off a few of your divisions and exercise them. And when they're fully exercised they exercise pretty quick because these are regulars train at lightning speed put them back into your army and then same again break off a few more three new army exercise to level three and your exercise put them back into the main army same again see what they'll see now is a few of your divisions have dropped low in divisional strength so they might try to probe you and trying to attack you so it's a good idea to just keep reinforcing every now and then next focus is the emperor stays which leads to some insane bonuses you're about to see the lion stands firm irregulars gain infantry organization plus five percent <laughs> so stupid so many bonuses research is done now so you can pop onto the weapons if you want to a little bit of uh, education uh maybe a little bit of roads maybe there we go okay you can go for war economy now which gives you some consumer goods which should allow you to trade with the French. There you go. Now we can actually produce a decent amount of guns. What we're looking for now is infantry expert. We're almost there. And then we can assign him as an infantry specialist, giving us a bunch of bonuses. Look like we're losing this battle here. Have a little look. 11 days. Ah, so this is one instance where we need to pull one division off the front line to help out this guy. He moves forward. Reinforce. Enter battle. 30 days. There you go. They will hold now. That will not break. The lion stands firm. The heroes of Ethiopia gain plus 5% irregular attack and 5% irregular speed. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. I love it. There we go. Infantry expert. Infantry specialist. This specialist has arrived. As you can see, this guy is cheaper than this guy. And plus, this guy will level up. And hopefully, if he gets to level A, he can become a genius, giving some insane infantry bonuses. Professional officer course, more XP. Yeah, why not? All right, maneuver a few divisions around here. I can see this is a soft spot. This one is two. Just move one division over. Defense stands firm. The heroes of Ethiopia. Volunteers, which gives you about 2,000 guns. Then you can reinforce the majority of your army, and then you can start thinking about counteroffensives. And I think in the desert here would be... Oh, that would be perfect. 
All right, next up. This guy is a hidden gem. Minus 20% lack of resources. So if you're not getting any steel from France, this will dampen that blow of lack of resources. But top it off as well. See this supply range plus 10%? This makes every single supply depot in the entire game have a 10% supply range bonus. The potential for that is absolutely insane. And also it moves you 5% towards the Messafint, which now, oh, we're so close. So close to that 20% bonus soon minister of finance extra five percent towards the left yeah why not and there we go boom here comes the volunteers and now we can work on infantry bonuses that's right there's even some more that's right renewed offensive extra 10 percent extra attack stack it higher and higher there you go we reached that point guys we have radio you know what that means victory i can smell it uh okay maybe not victory mutinies that's insanely unlucky a morale boost more defensive bonuses and then renewed offensive for extra attack there we go we got rid of the mutinies what are we fighting for freedom let's give it a shot here to here let's see if we can make an encirclement push in the south successful can we push two to the center they're defending come on lads i believe pin them and the pin is successful <laughs> Boyos with pitchforks. I've held back the Italians. A force of a major power of Europe. And that's a rip. Back to your stations, lads. Let's take this one step beyond and beyond. Double adaptable. So let you boyos tell one guy to stay behind by shift left clicking one of them. Here, here. Same again. One boyo gets left behind here and here. To be fair, in this one case, it's actually not applicable because there's actually no one in the center to encircle. So we just wait. Because what we could do is try and make a more adventurous push here. Wait behind here. And then I guess we could do something like this. These guys are just going to sit here. Yes, they are. And I'm going to pin them in place. You go here. You go here. Here, and it kind of looks like the south has been left behind. Yep, they've just totally forgotten about it. Oh, no. Italy offers peace. August 1937. So I've tested this, and I tried to push for the coast as early as I possibly can. And for some reason, they'll never really accept. There must be some sort of conditions baked in that prevent them from offering you peace earlier than they should. August 1937 is pretty decent, right? Nah, I want more. More. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 39,000 losses for Ethiopia. 221,000 for Italy. Oh, dear. Oh, I never even realized this. This division recovery guy gives you 10% support for the Mesafint. So if you would have gone for that earlier, boom, you would have maxed out the Mesafint side, giving you a massive boost to attack and defense. If you want your stability back, go for the Abuna. What? Another militia? I'll take it. Right, when Abuna is done, you can switch him out here, which gives a massive bonus to the stability in this war. There you go. 55% stability. And once again, if you go under Chief of Army, you got another option for 10% support for the Mesafint, which is a big bonus too. Oh no. Look them to be pinned again. Pinned. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. I've reached the point where I don't actually want to defeat the Italians now. I just want them to deplete every single point of manpower they've got. All right, the tutorial's technically ended now, so I'm just going to abuse the Italians. How many casualties do you think I can get for the, against the Italians? Anyone take a guess? We're going to find out. Encircle the southern port, and then we can just uh, milk encirclements on them. That's the plan. Classic trick. Encircle. Cancel the order. Control right click on the port. Which will encircle them, and then they'll stop their order. And then we just bait more and more Italians in. You, you didn't actually think there was going to be like a full-blown guide, did you, right? You, di you didn't think there were going to be a single exploit in here? Come on, guys. Come on. Well, hello there. You're mine. Oh, hello there, sir. Oh, dear. If you plan on playing a long game as Ethiopia and playing after this war, my advice is to go for Mass Assault Doctrine. Of course, go for the uh, theorist first and then work your way down Mass Mobilization to get that 5% recruitable population. Because you've sided with the militia and your focus tree, fortunately, you can't change off this conscription law, which is pretty nasty. Time for farming guns. Germany. Please, Mr. Hitler, a few guns for the poor Ethiopians. Oof. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Freebies. Italy, uh, Intel Ledger, Army, 10 to 25 divisions. <laughs> Half a million losses to Ethiopia and 20,000 loss to unknown. What? Unknown? Uh, another one. Uh, hello? 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 Goodbye.
Surviving against all odds. An additional 20% bonus against Italy. Thank you. Another mercenary. Yes. Another encirclement. Yes. All right, it's time for the final push now. Let's end this with a northern thrust. In the north, everyone... Oh, they finally pushed through here. That's funny. You two get left behind. Hold the ports. The People's War! Gain two off-map military factories. It's worth the wait. Offensive doctrine. Extra attack. Yeah, why not? The boys are ready. Lessons of war as well for the final 5% defense bonus. In position, org up, and it ends here. As you can see here, we're getting an insane bonus. 50% breakthrough, 25% attack bonus in anything in the north. Oh, it's so worth it. And we push pretty flawlessly. Oh, they're not messing around. That's, uh, that's a pretty big naval invasion. A little too little too late, though. Done! Get out! The final encirclements. Done. Ethiopia liberated. Losses. Three quarters of a million for Italy. Uh, they have about 20 divisions left. I'm, I'm so curious to see how the French do against the Italians here. This is going to be super funny. Look at these generals. The field marshal, 10 attack. The general, 10 attack. And Italy still, still trying to naval invade. <laughs> <laughs> the minute Italy joins the war, France makes a push through the Alps. <laughs> Libya getting swallowed up instantly. Italian stability, 28%. <laughs> Italian war support, 22%. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is the worst Mussolini. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Kingdom of Libya. Before the allies could liberate them, they liberated themselves. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not allowed to join factions. Oh, I am now. Okay, that must have changed. All right, never mind. We're joining faction. Not really much to fight, though. I guess naval invasion of Sicily. Can I even do that? <laughs> we can try. The king of the kings. Restore the empire of Khsum. Ethiopians on tour. The brave Ethiopian defense of Greece. The one true heir of Solomon. Call Palestine. Yes. Ethiopia being the greatest cock block. Wow, that's way more effective than I thought it was going to be. Massive thorn in the German side here. The soft underbelly has never had more meaning than this. But no one ever thought it was going to be Yugoslavia, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Exploit time. Uh, we're going to import fuel from the United States, and then we're going to basically just give it back to the Allies to get water contribution. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. Yay! The number's going up. I'm contributing. <laughs> You're probably wondering, hang on a minute, how has he got so much manpower? This is why. 5% recruitable. But you guys even forgot this even existed, right? I did. Oh, look how glorious this is going on the eastern front. Marvelous, amazing, and oh. Oh, a successful Warsaw uprising. Oh dear. So close, but yet so far. Contribution was 19% from 10,000 Lenly sent. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take this, this, this. The ultimate revenge. <laughs> GG. This is the next video. This one.